Well, it would probably affect more um, other players than myself, to be honest, because um, I. I don't want to say the ranking points are not important for me. Of course they are, but not as they were, you know, up to recently. I've um, f now I'm I'm not really chasing the the ranking as much as I have uh, until I, you know, uh, was breaking record for for longest weeks and number one, and then after that it just wasn't as. Uh, I think as important in terms of priority for me. What I can say is that as as a as a child of a war, um, several wars actually during the 90s, I, I I know what it feels like, you know, being being in the position. So, uh, but at the other hand, uh, I I can't say I, I fully agree <laughs> to 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 ban Russian tennis players, Belarusian tennis players, from competing. Uh, indefinitely i just don't see uh, you know how they have contributed to anything that is really happening i mean they, it's it's just i don't feel it's fair i think you know um they would accept the compromise that uh, they've actually had as a situation or circumstances with olympic games anyway to play under neutral flag um and but you know, I feel like they deserve to win. They deserve to compete. They are professional athletes. Well, you're right. As of today, I, I am, you know, I'm not allowed to enter states uh, in this, under these circumstances. So, yes, of course, I'm aware of that, and that is um, an extra motivation to do well here. So, hopefully, I can have um, a very good tournament as I have done uh, in the last three editions, um, and then. I'll just have to wait and see, you know, I'd love to go to States, um, but as of today, that's that's not possible and um, there is not much I can do anymore. I mean, it's it's really up to the US government to make a decision whether or not they, they allow um, unvaccinated people to go into the country.